Hi everyone, welcome to the second part of the Origami Axolotl tutorial. Um, if you haven't seen the first part, then I'll have a link to it up here. Um, so in the last tutorial, I showed you how to make the base, and today I'm going to show you how to make it into the final finished product. So with that being said, let's get started. Alright, so before we begin, I realized that the last video was kind of hard to follow. So to help you a bit with that, here is the crease pattern for the axolotl. Let me just move the camera up a little bit. And yeah, this is what it's supposed to look like. Um, you can pause um, right now if you want to look at all the creases. Um, and yeah, hopefully this can help you out if you are stuck. Anyways, back to the video. Alright, so here is where we left off, and one important thing that I forgot in the last tutorial, let's open sync this little point. So let's mount and fold it behind, and let's unfold, and let's open it, and let's open sync inside. And let's push that inside. And it should look like that. Alright, now do the same for this side. So let's value, sorry, mount and fold in. And then unfold. And let's open. And open sync. Like that. Okay, so now let's turn over. And let's start working on the head. So let's take this point and fold it up to this point. And then now we want to make a fold that goes through this point again. Like that. And there's our head. But now let's make it a bit rounder. So let's reverse fold this corner in. Let's just push it in like that. This is just um, to preference, but it should look kind of like that. And then do the same on the left side. You want this to be even to the right side so that it's a bit more round and it looks like that. All right, now let's turn over and let's work on the little antler parts. Still, I don't know what they're called, but anyways, let's um, valley fold it this way. And let's do the same with the left one. And then turn over and let's valley fold this up like that. And then, once again, same with this one. I mean, you really want to make this fold really strong because it has to stay like this because it's going to want to pop out a bit like that. All right, and then now, finally, you want to spread these little points outwards. Just fan them out um, because that's what they're like on an actual axolotl. And then do the same on this one. So just fan it out. And then the head should look something, something kind of like, something kind of like that. All right, so now let's work on the front legs. So let's start with the right one. So let's open this up to the middle. The middle flap should be this. It should be flat all the way up. And let's reverse fold this upwards, like that. Um, and let's do the same on the left one. Let's open it up to the middle flap and reverse fold it upwards, like that. And now you want to spread out the little fingers or toes. <laughs> so we have four flaps in here. And let's just spread them all out. <laughs> These are very messy, so um, what helps is just pinching them like that. And that didn't really help, but you can keep on shaping it and you can fold these little flaps behind because they don't really look that nice. Alright, that may have helped a little bit. 
All right, I'm just gonna do some extra shaping. All right, I think that helped it a little bit. And then just do the same on this side. So just spread the four points outwards. All right, so that's what the left one should look like. And if we turn over and fix the head up a little bit, then these should be the hands. All right, so we are down to the home stretch now. We just have to finish the back leg. So let's turn over and let's valley fold them up. And then let's valley fold them down. Um, kind of up to this point. I guess it's so that the valley fold lines up with this point. Uh, and then unfold, let's do one of them. And then unfold this flap and let's fold it down. This is just a reverse fold. All right, so it should look like that. And then let's do the same here. So up, fold out one flap, fold it down, and let's close it back up. <laughs> okay, so it should look like that. Hopefully I didn't rip the paper. No, I didn't. <laughs> And then now let's reverse fold the leg out like that. And let's do the same for this left one right here. All right, now the last thing we're gonna do is let's just stretch these, let's spread these legs out. So just squish them kind of like this. This one's going a little bit out of whack, so let's put that one, put that one back. Um, and then let's kind of crimp this one a little more out. Okay, so that's the right leg. And then finally, let's do the left leg. So let's spread these all out. And let's make it make it look nice all right and let's just do some little final touch-ups these antlers do not want to stay in place <laughs> and I think we should be just about done uh, you can mount and fold this behind to keep this flap from sticking out um, but yeah, I think that's it. We are done. I really hope you were able to fold this. This is a very hard model. And if you did, congrats to you. And in the meantime, have fun folding.